Oh, hey, I see you there. Come on in. Well, you're already here. Uh, welcome to my shop. This is a piece of koa. Uh, Hawaiian wood, it's really exotic to me. I've never touched it before. I started working with it a little bit, so what I can tell you is it's beautiful wood, very hard, open grained, and dark. Other than that, I don't know. It cut down really well. Today, I'm going to start cutting, filming anyway, a royal scepter for a doll. So it's going to be a walking stick. But I think it's going to end up looking like a, a royal scepter. Maybe my wife can sell it for her online. So hang in there and we'll get going. Okay, here we are. I got the piece on the lathe and I've tentatively cut a little bit. You can see. Down here I cut a tenon to fit into my collet chuck. It's a three-quarter inch collet because the wood is not very big. Three-quarters is 19 millimeters. In length, the overall length is 12 it was probably 13 inches. Uh, I think. So this is what we've got. Let's get going. This is going to be a nice chunk of wood. So hang in there and I'll bring you back when I got something to show. Well, let's see if it records this. Okay, that's enough for now. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna finish the end. So, see you later. Okay, you get the picture. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, okay, so refinement. That's a three quarter diameter and that one will be uh, three eighths diameter okay let's try that This is poplar, by the way. Well, I got it turned, but no vise, no scroll saw blades, 
the bandsaw is out of the question. You need a very fine kerf. Don't have the proper lumber either, but this will do. Have to do. So, here's what I'm doing. Just slowly cutting it down. going to take some time but that's basically what I'm doing don't know if it'll work out or not the technique is not a bad technique I saw it on YouTube somewhere actually it was spirit wind stone and bone she did this well uh, that's enough recording for the moment I will show you the results later if it doesn't break or anything. Okay, got them sawn apart. Here's the unveiling. Ding. Ding. Hope you're getting enough of this. There is a top and a bottom. And let's see what they look like when I put them together. There we go. Okay. Now, I gotta glue them up, carve it, and hopefully it looks good when I'm done. That was calculated to be a quarter inch thick. It looks about that. After years of struggling to understand this, I think I got it. I can draw this now on paper with the precision of a drawing tool. I can draw any shape. You tell me the shape, I'll tell you, I'll send you the cut file, cut plan. Cut files? I don't know. But there she be. Hopefully it, it, it keeps on going. I gotta paint this. I should have done it walls all together, but that would require touching up. So this is all sanded. So I don't have to sand inside. And uh, maybe I'll pull a Gary on us. Nah. I could probably pull a double Gary, let's see. Well, there she be. All glued up. Inch and do it. Anomaly my inch.
That should do it. Now that's okay, I guess. Well, there she be.